Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Jay Holloway. Today, we're going to be discussing last week's fragrances. So, we're going to start with Monday. That morning, I went with Flora Blanc. This is by Le Cirque. And this is one that I haven't pulled for, but I wanted to go ahead and reach for it. It is a nice white floral scent. Thoroughly enjoy. This is from an independent company in Florida. Really, really like this one. So that was Monday morning. Or the first half of Monday. And then that evening, I went with a fragrance that I always tend to gravitate towards. And that is Glossier U, Iris, Pink Pepper, and Brett. Beautiful, delicious skin scent. We love her. Tuesday... I went with, um, I'm going to say a Flora Bianca. That's not what this is. This is Zerjoff's Cosmerati Dama Bianca. A fairly recent acquisition. The dent is starting to dent. This is nice. I have to go ahead and do my review on it. I'm so behind. But I wanted to stick with the theme of like a nice powdery, kind of like clean, musky scent. And I went with the House of Oops, Breath of the Infinite. I talk about this one a few times. I was inspired to get this by the Eva Monroe back when she did fragrance content. This is nice, light, and airy. And that was Tuesday for me. Now, oops, my skincare. Wednesday was feeling kind of crummy and I didn't wear anything. Really, as you can see, this one's almost out. But this is Ball de Freak. I wore this after the day was over. Thursday, I woke up and I was like, let's wear something nice and delicious since we're feeling better. And I went with Casili by Parfums de Marley. This is like a apricotty, um, osmanthus like orange cream sickle sweet fragrance but it actually has the notes which is red currant bulgarian rose white florals prune accord frangipani and sandalwood tonka and vanilla pie beautiful then that evening i decided you know what? Tay Cashmere by Christian Dior. A beautiful green tea fragrance. I don't pull for this. It's since been discontinued, but I like it a lot. So I decided to wear it. Friday, I decided to wear 1872 by Clive Christian. This was the scent that I wore to my friend's wedding, Abby, aka the Cherries TV. And so since they were celebrating their honeymoon, I was supposed to wear this on the actual day that they got married. But I was like, you know what? Not for Monday, I believe that's when the anniversary was. But I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and pull this out. This is a deliciously wonderful green fragrance. I like the masculine version and the feminine version. Kind of similar, but very different. Think the Gentle Fluidity series. This one is a little bit more like dark or deeper green, while the feminine's like green and citrusy. But this is a good one. Clive Christian. Next up, Divine by Jean Paul Gaultier. This is awesome. I don't know the notes of this. I think it's like aquatic and some lemon bergamot probably wonderful i love it saturday i really didn't do anything i was like laid up in the bed like crazy nothing was wrong i was just really really tired so saturday i just went with gavin lux summer of 96 this was a limited edition run this smells like candy very, very sweet. So I was happy with that. Sunday was Mother's Day. And 
all of my mother figures are no longer here. And I decided instead of just seeping and being sad, I was going to do something that I wanted to do this year. And that was take myself to the ballet. And I went to see the Atlanta Ballet. They did a premiere of um, two performances. And I wore Lolita. And then Sunday when I came home, took a bath, and I went with Ness Lychee Rose. This is empty. It is officially gone. Rose, Lychee, beautiful. Akin to Delina, but not really. But yes, that was my week of fragrance. Please like, comment, subscribe, share if you care. Stay tuned for more scented content. Bye.